All right, I don't know who made up this question, but acetophyxobadamin, I don't know who could make up something as silly and as ridiculous as that. Anyway, I love this question for another reason as well, because it really gets to the, um, the theory and the, the basic concept behind what a half-life is. So it says that this drug, acetophyxobadamin, is broken down in the body. It's a first order process. It tells you that the half-life of this drug, this drug is four hours and the patient takes 15 milligrams. So we have a 15.0 milligram dose. How many milligrams remain in the bloodstream after 24 hours? It's important to be able to get a qualitative sense of what's going on with the half-life because sometimes that can really lead to the answers that you're looking for. Certainly you could use the integrated rate law in order to figure this out. But if you take a look, 24 is an even multiple of the half-life. Now, what does it mean? What does the half-life mean? It means that whatever I start with, 100% of that, after the first half-life, and the half-life here is four hours, then I'll have half of that amount remaining. After another four hours, I'll have half of that remaining, which is 25%. And so this continues, right? So after another four hours, I'll have 12.5%. We got to keep going. What's half of 12.5%? So another four hours later, I get 6.25%. How many, how many hours has it been total? I've got four plus four is eight, plus another four is 12, plus another four is, looks like we're up to 16, right? And so what do I get next? Another four hours would be, 3.125%. And then the last 12, four hours, so now we're up to 24 hours, it'd be half of that, it would be 1.5625% of the original concentration. Again, we've got 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 hours. This is one method you can use to at least get an idea of what the range of the concentration should be. Even if it was 3.5 hours, uh, let's, excuse me, even if it was 22 hours, we know that the, it would fall between this half-life and it would fall between this half-life so that means it would be between 3.125% and 1.5625% of the original concentration. But since it was exactly four, exactly 24 hours, exactly eight half-lives, one, two, three, four, five, excuse me, exactly six half-lives, then it's 1.562. 5% of the original dose. And so we have 15.0 milligrams times 0 0.015625. What do we get there? We're going to get 0 0.23 milligrams. And that's what remains. Okay.